Welcome to Form 3 Mathematics. The topic is quadratic expressions add equations to quadratic expressions add equations to. We are going to look at what we call perfect square. Learn what is a perfect square. Let us look at some examples here. Number one, factorize x squared plus 6x plus 9. Here we normally write product add sum. The product is 9, the constant, now that the coefficient of x squared is 1. Then the sum is 6, 6, coefficient of x, of the middle term. Now, which are these two numbers that you get, add to get a 6? These are 3 and 3. And you also multiply them to get 9. Then, from here, learn, you pick those numbers, you go and substitute them in the middle term there. And therefore, you write x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Factorize this. Divide the expression into two parts. Factorize the first part, you write x, x plus 3. Factorize the second part. You factor out 3, you are left with x plus 3. This bracket is common. Factor it out. Then you will be left with x here, and here you will be left with 3. Learn, if you look at these factors, these factors are equal. So we can say that these are two equal factors. Learner, a quadratic expression that factorizes into two equal factors, two same factors, is called a perfect square. And therefore, x squared plus 6x plus 9, learner, is a perfect, uh, is a perfect square. Good. Let us look at number 2. Suppose we are told to factorize x squared minus 5x plus 6. Product sum. The product is 6. The sum is negative 5. The two numbers that you add to get negative 5 are negative 2 and 3. And if you multiplied the same numbers, you'd get 6. Again, take these numbers and substitute them in the second term, the whole of this term. And therefore you get x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. Divide this expression into two again, the first group and the second. Factorize what here? Factor out x and you'll be left with x minus 2. Put this minus here. Factor out 3. You will be left with what inside the bracket? you'll be left with x minus 2. This becomes minus, not plus. So that if you remove the brackets, minus times minus would give you plus. And therefore, Lana, this is a common bracket. Again, factor it out. And you'll be left with x minus 3 in the second bracket. These factors here, Lana, are different. These are two different factors. And therefore, Lana, this quadratic expression here is not a perfect square. It has factorized out into two different, it's not a perfect square. It has factorized out into two different squares. Good. Go ahead, practice, learner. Thank you.